The house sat still, its windows shattered, and its walls stained with the blood of the innocent. In 2008, a once peaceful Maryland home became the scene of a brutal quadruple homicide that shook the nation. The Browning family, a tight-knit clan of five, was brutally murdered, leaving behind a trail of unanswered questions and heartbreak. As the investigation unraveled, it became apparent that the perpetrator was none other than the family's own eldest son, Nicholas. The night was pitch black and eerily peaceful, the kind of peace that one typically associates with the dead of winter. However, the tranquility was shattered for the Browning family when they heard the sound of gunfire. Nicholas Browning, who would turn 16 in exactly one week, had returned home in the middle of the night and then proceeded to do an unthinkable deed after being gone for several hours. Nicholas meticulously killed his entire family by shooting them with a gun that belonged to his father. This included his mother, father and two younger brothers. Everyone in the little Maryland village was left struggling to come to terms with the unimaginable atrocity that had occurred due to the quadruple homicide that had reverberated across the area. However, as the investigators dug deeper into the case, a troubling possible motive started to emerge. It was speculated that Nicholas had killed his family because he didn't want anyone to tell him what to do and because he wanted to ensure that he would receive his share of the estate by removing his brothers. The prosecution maintained that even though Nicholas claimed his father had abused him, this was not the fundamental motivation for the killings. Nicholas stated that his father had abused him. They asserted that Nicholas acted out of a sense of entitlement, as well as a desire to establish control over his own life. Rather than this, they argued that Nicholas acted in this manner. A hearing was held barely two days after the killings, and Nicholas was charged with four counts of first-degree murder. He was denied bail at the hearing. The next Sunday, he made a confession to the murders. Eventually, the prosecutors and his attorneys came to an agreement regarding a plea deal. Nicholas entered a guilty plea to four counts of first-degree murder in January 2009. As a result, he was given a sentence of four life sentences in prison, with two of those life sentences to be served concurrently. This indicated that he would not be eligible for parole until the year 2031, once he has successfully completed his sentence of 23 years with no violations. The heinous crime that was committed against the Browning family is a chilling illustration of the precarious nature of human existence and the devastating potential of unrestrained entitlement. A person's decision to take matters into their own hands by committing an act of violence can have catastrophic repercussions. This story serves as a warning tale about those implications. The killings left the small Maryland village in shambles, and residents there were stymied in their attempts to make sense of something that made no sense. Everyone who knew the Browning family mourned their passing since their contributions to the community had earned them a high level of respect throughout the years. However, the tragedy has served as a wake-up call for many people, despite the fact that it will always be a painful memory for those who were directly affected by it. It has brought to our attention the significance of treating one another with consideration and courtesy, asking for assistance when we need it, and being aware of the repercussions of our actions at all times. Even though Nicholas Browning is serving numerous life sentences, his family name will continue to be remembered for generations to come. Their legacy serves as a poignant reminder of the precarious nature of life and the significance of making the most of the time we have with the people we care about. It also serves as a timely reminder that regardless of how gloomy things may appear to be at the moment, there is always the possibility of a better future for those of us who are ready to work towards achieving that future. That's all for today. Give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. See you in the next one.